Hi, this is Ron Perrin with Ron Perrin Water Technologies. Our company inspects and cleans potable water storage. Our most popular service is our remote camera inspection. We're able to put a train technician on top of water tanks and towers with a remotely controlled video camera to inspect the entire facility. Here we've got a helmet cam to give you a sense of what it's like going up to the top of the tower. Once we're on top, we can open it up and deploy the remote camera. This gives us a good look at the interior roof as well as all the sediment on the floor of the tank, if there is any. As we go down to the floor, we can see the sediment coming into the view now. Sediment on the floor of the tank can be a habitat for contaminants like bacteria, protozoa, and even viruses. The protozoa you're probably familiar with is Cryptosporidium. Crypto can seep into almost any kind of water plant that gets its water from surface water. Our next service is using an ROV. ROV stands for Remotely Operated Video. We have a video ray ROV. There we are washing us down. Everything we use is purchased for and only used in potable water. Then we wash everything down with a 200 parts per million chlorine solution. This little unit can make its way to the back of a million gallon tank. Here we've got it deployed in a clear well. Clear well is basically an underground concrete storage tank usually. We can move it around and look at all areas of the tank on larger systems. Looking at one of the roof supports, now we'll move on back towards the rear of the clear well and look at the sediment levels in this facility. Now let's move on to the uh, water tower, back on top of the water tower. We're deploying the ROV this time. Once in the water, we have full control and we can move it around, look at all the weld lines, wall areas. We're going to drop it straight on down and look at the floor. Looking at the bottom of this 750,000 gallon water storage tank. There is the top of the standpipe. And now we're flying over the lower bowl area. Looking at the lower sidewall, you see a little sediment ring there. That's where the sediment has slipped down on the sidewall. Our next inspection is a diver inspection. Using a potable water dive crew, divers are sealed in their own environment where no part of their body touches the water, then they're washed down with a 200 parts per million chlorine solution. We're using a Desco air hat today. Divers making his way down inside a large clear well where he has complete communications with his topside tenders. Using a diver held camera, we were able to do a more detailed inspection on the floor. And the other thing we do with divers is clean the tanks. We can remove the sediment while the storage facility stays full of water. This can save a lot of time, water, and money. In these days with drought conditions in most of the south and southwest, saving water is a primary concern. We can remove all the sediment that can contain bacteria, protozoa, and even viruses and maintain the treated drinking water. Moving everything that's soft off the bottom of the tank removes the habitat that contaminants can live in.
Divers can also perform other maintenance tasks at the water plant. There's a, a diver's being washed down with a chlorine solution, so he can remove some calcium carbonate that's developed on a sluice gate in a water plant. Here we're removing the sediment with a diver using a Kirby Morgan full face mask, one, another one of our tools. Our inspectors always wear a proper safety gear when climbing tanks and towers. Thanks for watching our 2011 company video. If you'd like more information on our water tank, contamination and what's found in them, check out my blog at rodparent.us and you can find out more about us at our website rodparent.com.